Hey guys, how's it going? I've been saying for a little while now to some of my clients that I'll put together a video with the rehab exercises that I use for my posterior pelvic tilt. This isn't necessarily going to work for everyone. Mine's due to tight glutes, tight hip flexors and a lack of lower abdomen activation. So these are the exercises that I do anyway. I think for my clients who also have the posterior pelvic tilt, this would be sufficient. This one's a great one to get started with. So basically what you want to do is lay on your back close to the wall so you can put your feet on the wall with your legs in a 90 degree position. Then you want to apply pressure through your feet, flex your hips forward towards the ceiling. Also reach your hands up towards the ceiling, fully protracting your shoulders forward and activating your lower abdomen. Whilst doing this, you want to breathe in. Imagine you're breathing the air in to the center of your back, breathe in for three seconds, out for three seconds. So one, two, three, in, one, two, three, out. This is really going to activate and stimulate that lower abdomen. This one's a really good one that you can do pretty much anywhere. So basically what you wanna do is get down on all fours, pressing your toes into the ground, lifting your knees off the ground only about an inch. Might have went a little bit too high there. And then I want you to breathe in. Imagine you're breathing into the mid back area again and breathe out three seconds in, three seconds out. This one's quite hard. So aim for about seven to nine reps. This one's definitely a go-to exercise for me because it activates your lower abdomen, your hip flexor and your glute. It's just a bit of a prick to get into if you're not used to it. So I hope I can explain this clearly. You need to grab one end of the band and wrap that around one foot and the other end of the band goes around your other foot. And then you grab the middle of the band, you pull that up over one of your knees and with the opposing leg, you push, you extend your leg outwards, down like Marta is here, and then bring it back up slow. While you're doing that, it's Focus on pressing your back into the floor, which is really gonna activate your lower abdomen. The bent side leg is going to be activating the hip flexor on that side. And the other side that you're pressing with is going to activate your glute. You wanna do this slowly, about 10 reps on each side. And if you wanna progress on this exercise, you bring the band up higher on your knee. The higher you go, the more tension that goes onto the band. That's it. This front plank targets the lower abdomen. Unlike the standard front plank, which is pretty much dead straight from head to toe, this one, I want you to arch your lower back up towards the ceiling by flexing your hips forward. And while you're doing this, I want you to breathe in for three seconds, breathe out for in seconds. So inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. And I want you to imagine that you're sucking this air into the middle of your back. By doing this, it's going to ensure that your lower abs are active the whole time and getting as much stimulus as possible. This stretches for the glute. Um, as you can see, Marta's in the supine position. She's got one leg over the other knee and with her left arm, she's pulling on her right knee and with her right arm, she's pulling on her left foot, pulling it back towards herself and really stretching the glute. The more you pull it towards yourself, the better stretch you'll get in the glute. You wanna hold this for about eight to 12 seconds. This stretch is focused on the hip flexor, so I want you to grab something you can elevate your back foot on, obviously. And whilst elevating your back foot, you want to feel a bit of a stretch in your hip. Put one arm up in the air and really flex your glute. When you're flexing your glute, I want you to push your hips forward so you can really feel a pull through on the hip flexor. You should get a really good stretch on that. You want to hold this for about 8 to 12 seconds also.